most people don't know what their first goal should be. Head on over now to couchtoactive.com forward slash minimum and find out for yourself how to get a successful start. Hey friends, Lynn here, your bad couch guru with Couch to Active. And today we're going to talk about teenagers exercise being sedentary in the COVID and quarantine era. And yeah, I got to tell you, I've been hearing from a lot of parents and I've had a lot of very deep, long conversations about this concept of our, our teenagers it already is a struggle with them being sedentary just because their lifestyle uh, currently is so different from their parents' generation, my generation, and even more so from the grandparents' generation. And so what is meaningful to them a lot of times tends to be really sedentary. and, And we know this, but I do want to spread the word that if you are in a position where you have teenagers in your family who have become even more sedentary because there's now no sports going on. There's no summer camps to get engaged in. There's, uh, you know, when, when school's closed, if your kid was biking to and from school, there's not even that going on. Uh, there's, you know, not even needing to get up and going to school, like just the walking the to class and stuff. It's like, poof, all gone. You're not alone. In fact, you're normal. And, and it feels kind of screwed up to say that, but you know, we know that a lot of things that are normal um, are really not good and healthy. And we know this, but right now is a really unique time in our country. And our teenagers are carrying probably more stress than they let on to some of them, depending on your kid, right? And not having exercise a part of their daily life compounds that even more than they realize because a lot of our teens don't have the education that we do around mental health and exercise. And it is tough. And so if you are a parent or an aunt or an uncle or a loved one or a neighbor or a grandparent and you're concerned about this, I got a few tips for you. Okay, first and foremost, and those of you who've been following along with me for a long time, you're not going to be surprised at all. First and foremost, if you want to encourage your teen to exercise more, hold back judgment. Do not go to your teen with a, <laughs> you know, judgmental, you need to exercise more, blah, 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 you know, like... Like, no, 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 no. Your, your teens, depending on how old they are and how they like to talk, they want to be able to own their own lives, right? They want to be able to be their own person, their own individual. And so it actually, to, to motivate your teen to exercise, it, it's really got to come from them. And for that exercise motivation to come from them, they really have to have something meaningful going on in their life to motivate them to exercise. Now, if you have a teenager who doesn't really have anything to motivate them to exercise, but they're still obsessively exercising and doing in-home workout videos and all of that, that's great. And that's awesome for physical health. But you may also want to check in on the mental health to see if there's any body image issues going on. Because sometimes if a teen is just very obsessed with exercise, it could be either a body image, a lack of self-esteem that drives them to perfection, or it could be just it's a dope. They've discovered the dopamine that comes with exercise, and they've also discovered that it's an area of competency for them, and having an area of competency feels really good. And so so really, times are crazy, and it's more important than ever to pause and check in with your teen. Ask them, you know, how are you doing? How has your, you know, exercise changed since, you know, quarantine? Ask them, do you, do you think it's impacted you physically or mentally yet? Do you think it's um, positive or negative? And, and just really listen to what they have to say. And then over time, see if you can help them discover 
things they can do that just happen to include exercise that will help them get moving. And um, uh, friends, if you have someone in your life where you really want to dive into this on a more deeper level, reach out to me, uh, set up a call with me, and we can dive into more specifics of your situation and trying to figure out how to help your teen. One more tip. Are you ready for this? Here's a thing to remember about teenagers. And I would say this to anybody and everybody that I was in a one-on-one with. And that is, teenagers are really good at making you feel like they don't care about you at all. And teenagers are really good at making themselves appear to their parents or the authorities around them, appear as if they are completely repulsively unlovable. (laughs) I know, you know, if you got teens, you kind of know. Here's my tip. Break through that. Look at your teen in their eye, in the eyes. And if they're being a moo cow, we call it a moo cow. Uh, I'm a teenager. You know, you get it. Look them in the eyes. Tell them you love them. Give them a big hug. And don't worry about if you get a hug back. Just keep doing that every single day because they need love just like everybody else. All right, friends. See you tomorrow. Couch to Active's number one goal is to help you fill the gap between knowing you should exercise consistently and actually getting it done with a smile. Head on over to couchtoactive.com. Get the course, get the book, get going today at couchtoactive.com.